Hey guys, what's up? It's Bibzoo7 here again, and welcome to another RuneScape vlog. In this one, I'm going to be going over pretty much what I've been up to in the past few days, as well as uh, some of the new polls that came out recently, like I like to do in these videos. Um, I messed up real bad on the RuneScape road trip thing. I thought my last thing I could do yesterday, but I didn't see that I hadn't done this yet, which kind of sucks. But you can still get JMod support for uh, for stamping, so I'm going to try and get that last thing done with a JMod or something. But yeah, that really sucks because I just didn't see that that was there, so I missed out on finishing it. But I think I'll be able to finish it in the uh, next few days because I think they'll still be stamping and all that stuff. But um, yeah, I think I need to do this thing. Uh, if you guys don't know, if you have a crystal amulet, I'm not exactly 100% sure the parameters to get it. I think you have to like have either have members for the whole summer or like buy the membership package and you'll get these two things but you can just rub this amulet and get three of these things and they're like uh prismatic fallen stars basically and they give you free bonus xp per day you can get three per day so those are pretty awesome and that's going to last all summer so that's really nice same with this thing it's going to be all summer and every five days you can get uh, two hours of, I mean, every week and get two hours of double XP, I think. I don't really know what I'm going to use that on because I'm not sure. I don't think you can use it in Dungeoneering um, because, obviously, you you have the Daemon Aura and you can't bring other things into Dungeoneering with you. But um, speaking of that, I have been Dungeoneering quite a decent amount lately. Um, as you guys can probably tell, uh, I'm only 2.4 mil off 112. So I, I did a bunch of Dungeoneering the other few, in the past, like, two or three days with Alex and my friend Ool as well, we, and um, I actually unlocked one of the new pets, so I'm going to show you guys that right now. I got the frosty little dragon guy. He's really cute, I think. He kind of looks like a dog in a way, if like the way he runs around. So yeah, there he is. His name's Frosty. He's pretty cute looking, and um, he'll follow you around. You know, he runs. Kind of looks like a dog, and uh, if you talk to him, he'll say a bunch of different stuff. Uh, I'm cold. <laughs> <clears throat> Wow, I hurt his feelings. I feel bad, but uh, yeah, th this thing's pretty cool. I've seen some people with the mini blink, but I haven't seen the uh, the one million token thing. But um, yeah, so that's what I did because I, I I spent the fifty k tokens to reset my ring, and um, that that got me back like three hundred and fifty k tokens. So I bought one of the little frosty pets, and uh, I've also been purchasing chaotic spikes. I have eight out of the ten I need to make the chaotic spear. And once I get that, I might make a video testing it out, maybe at Court Beast or something like that. I think that would be pretty interesting to see how much better it is than the regular Zami Spear. So, like, before I make a Chaotic Spear, I'll do a kill or two with the Zami Spear. And then I'll do, you know, a kill or two with the Chaotic Spear and, like, show the comparison. But, um, yeah, I have only 13k tokens, but I just need uh, two more Chaotic Spikes to be able to get the full Spear. And, um... This is what it says if you have the pet. It says you already own this pet. But yeah, I haven't seen anybody with the Hope Nibbler at all. But um, I hope to get it eventually. But yeah, that's pretty much what I, all I've been doing on RS is doing Dungeoneering. As well as doing the Slayer series. And um, I haven't been doing much barrels lately. But I've been doing mostly the Slayer series. But um, yeah, that's basically all I've been up to. Um, sorry this video wasn't out last night. I, I was trying to upload it last night. I had a video recorded and all ready to go uh, last night. And um, I accidentally just showed the Slayer tab. So I'm going to have to cut that out. Because um, I want to save that for the Slayer videos. But um, I like <clears throat> I tried to upload it and YouTube just wasn't having it. So I thought I'd just you know make it again today. And... Um, just, you know, just completely remake it and upload it today. So my apologies for it not being up yesterday, but there's nothing really I can do with YouTube's, you know, quirks. But, uh, yeah, I'll have this up tonight, and then tomorrow I will have a new episode of the Slayer series out, I believe, which should be pretty cool. As you can see, we're about one-fourth of the way done, 2.5 mil experience about, so that's pretty good. And um, we should be, <clears throat> you know, finishing it up within maybe 20 episodes or 25, I hope. And uh, I'm really looking forward to cashing that out because it is going to be really a, a lot of money for me. And uh, I'm also I also like how I'm getting up my Slayer experience. As you guys can see, I'm almost 18 mil already, which is awesome. I'm going to have around 25 mil by the time series is over. You know, one fourth of the way to uh, 120. 
So that's pretty cool. Maybe the next thing, uh, maybe the next thing I'll do, I won't really, I won't do a series for it, but I might just keep a Slayer tab from like, you know, right here, like 25 mil XP to like 120, like, or if I can, because that would be pretty cool uh, to see how much loot I get. But that's, that's going to have to be like, if I have a lot of money, because I can't really afford to save things in a tab too much right now. It's, it's kind of hurting me doing the Slayer tab al already because I only have 12 mil cash and, you know, doing Slayer tasks, obviously I use some supplies. I use a lot of prayer potions and I use uh, extremes and sometimes overloads for bosses. So it really does uh, take a toll on my supplies and I don't have that much money to restock them with. So hopefully I have enough to get me to the the Slayer series goal, but uh, I think I'm going to spend the money on some gear that uh, will allow me to do some higher level bosses so that I can um, so that I can do series without really worrying about you know the money I'm using to uh, do them. But I uh, just finished making some signs of the porter there. I bought like a hundred of those and I thought I'd just make them all because they're really useful for you know blue dragons and uh, doing anything really like doing some <clears throat> some sort of skill like fishing or I get any gathering skill really but um yeah I do have plenty of overloads for the time being and prayer potions as well but um I might need to make some more uh extremes yeah pretty soon I can decant some but still so yeah I really need to finish some some one of these series pretty soon if I can and um then I'll be all good but uh yeah Anyways, let's go over the new polls that were released. Uh, I think it was yesterday or today. The Elder God quest is still the same. We've gone over this one, but they changed the diamond poll. Uh, they're talking about quest difficulty, and uh, they want to know what people think should determine the level difficulty level of a quest, like which aspect should influence the difficulty decision the most. For example, you know, by, by difficulty level, they mean... Um, they mean quest level like, here, let's do difficulty. They mean like novice, you know, what are they, I don't even know what the other ones are. Novice, intermediate, uh, ex experienced, master, and grandmaster. They're trying to like decide what should, you know, what, what out, what should outline the requirements and what, what should make a quest like a grandmaster per se. And I voted for skill and quest requirements, which is, I think what should definitely be it. It shouldn't be combat difficulty at all, I don't think. Um, if anything, it should be combat and puzzle difficulty, like the same thing. Um, I don't think the length has anything to do with the difficulty at all. Like one small favor, easy fucking quest, just long as hell. Degree of guidance, eh, that's a, that's a decent you know argument, but I don't think that one either. Story significance, definitely not. I don't know why so many people are voting for this. The quest difficulty level should not be based on the significance of the lore that is in the quest. You can have a novice quest filled with tons of lore. Why not? Like, kind of like, um, I forget which quest. The quest where you don't even need any skills, you just need a combat level requirement, like the world wakes, I think it is. That's filled with lore, but it's really easy as long as you have the combat level, because the bosses are really easy with the combat level that's required. So I think that should be like a novice or intermediate quest, not a grandmaster. Grandmaster quests should be decided by skill and quest requirements. That's why in the past there were barely any, you know, grandmaster quests. There was like Wild Gothic Sleeps, and that, when that came out, that required like every single quest in the whole entire game. So, you know, I think that the the requirement for a quest to be grandmaster has gone down extremely in recent years. And I think it should remain at a higher standard. I think the skill levels and quest requirements that are required to play the quest should be most important. Grandmasters, there shouldn't be as many Grandmasters as there are in the game currently. Grandmasters should be, you know, like like storyline ending quests. Like, you know, like after you have a Grandmaster quest, you shouldn't have another quest about that same storyline ever. That's what I think, at least. Like how Ritual of the Majra, I mean, maybe that's not the end of the Majra, but I mean, those, those quests are pretty nuts. And the requirements for that one were really high. And like, Wild Gothic Sleeps was like a really huge quest. Unless it's like massively important storyline wise. I don't know, it's kind of debatable. Like, the elf quest that's going to open Pryffindus, I mean, that's probably going to be a Grandmaster. And that's probably going to like end the elf storyline, I'd assume. I don't know, that's just my opinion. They need, they definitely need to like raise the requirement for, 
for grandmasters, I think. And I think the skill and quest requirements are the most important. And people seem to agree. The people who say combat difficulty, I just don't agree with that at all. I think grandmasters should be hard to get the requirements to do, not just hard in the doing of the actual quest, if that makes sense. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but I feel pretty strong about this because uh, I've always loved quests, and I think the categorization needs a bit uh, tidying up. Ruby Pole. Minimap icons. So, yeah, this is kind of a hotly debated topic. When these first came out, everybody hated them. They're they're too big. They definitely are. I like the old ones much more. I'm voting for the old ones back, and looks like they're going to win. But, um, I mean, the new ones look look kind of, you know, newer, but they're just too big. I don't know. I don't like... I like the little dollar sign for the bank. That made way more sense than a chest. And, like, this is the problem right here, Hom. Look at that. You can't see anything if you're zoomed out all the way. I mean, yeah, I could just zoom in, and then it's fine. But still, like, if you're trying to find a specific point on the map and you don't know where it is exactly, and you're looking around, you know, you can turn the icons off and stuff, but still, like, you can't see Jack in almost any location because of how large the icons are. So, I don't know. I don't. I, I never really liked the new icons, so I'm glad they're pulling the return, and I'm glad that the return is winning because I would much rather have the uh, the old ones back. But uh, it does say 70% is required to pass, so it might not, which kind of stinks. But I don't really care. If the old ones came back, I think that would be better. But if the new ones are still going to be here, I mean, I don't really care all that much. But it's up to you. Let me know what you guys think about that one in the comments as well. And uh, I think that's going to be the end of this uh, RS blog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Talked about the new poll, as well as what I've been up to in the game. And um, hopefully I'll be getting 112 done pretty soon. Getting closer and closer to that 120. Need about 60 million more experience. So almost halfway, which is pretty cool. I just, I'm not a big fan of Dungeoneering. Like, I'll do it every now and then, but I can't really grind it out every day. Because I just really, it's just too boring. Uh, I don't know, that's just my opinion. But, um... Yeah, other than that, you guys, like and favorite if you enjoyed, subscribe for future videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Should have a Slayer episode out tomorrow. See you guys then. Peace.